Hey, what's up, Internet? I bought a Dremel 3D printer. It's the Dremel Idea Builder, Model 3D20. I bought it on Amazon.com. They had a $100 off coupon. How can you go wrong with that? I've been wanting to buy a 3D printer since I first saw them on Colbert Report. It, it was awesome. I'm like, what is this? Uh, anyway, my plan is this. Initially, I want to make three videos about this 3D printer. Uh, this video is the Dremel 3D printer unbox and setup. Uh, the next video will be the pros and cons about it. Uh, that one will be good. And then finally, there will be an analysis and review video uh, after I've put this thing to the test for a little longer than the three days I've had it at this point. All right, let's get started. I sure could use some help. Hey, man, I think this guy needs some help. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Uh, let's start with an unbox. Uh, the box is big. It's lighter than it looks. Uh, when I first picked it up, I was expecting it to be way heavier than it was. Uh, it's easy to open the box, and the top just lifts right off, and the rest sort of just blooms like a beautiful 3D printer flower, I suppose you could say. Uh, the styrofoam packing throughout is structurally sound and plentiful. Uh, there's tape holding stuff together. I guess that's awesome. Uh, the lid of the machine just lifts right off. So if you're expecting to use the Dremel Idea Builder in zero gravity, uh, you may want to repurpose that packing tape that was stuck all over it you know, to hold on the lid. I, I hope there's at least a percentage of the audience that that applies to, but I don't know. What can I say? I'm a dreamer. I'm a dreamer. All of the contents inside of the machine was pretty slow to get out, and the build platform uh, has to manually be pushed up in order to get it, like the styrofoam, out from underneath it. So I almost pooped my pants doing that. It felt like I was forcing the machine to do something it wasn't supposed to do. Uh, anyway, it worked out. Uh, they even stick the filament that comes with it uh, down there. Hmm, yeah, that's nice. But what's this? Oh my gosh, cracked styrofoam. That's pathetic. I'm just kidding, actually. It's not that pathetic. Uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. There was just a little bit of styrofoam flakage on the inside of the machine that uh, I had to clean up. Yeah, actually, there was one other thing. The build platform, like that portion, had a chip in the rear portion of it, as you can see here. I don't know if that's from shipping or whatever. But anyway, it doesn't appear to affect the performance. So I'll allow it. Anyway, let's go over what's included. Uh, my Dremel 3D printer came with uh, the manual, a scraper thing that makes you think that you'll remove your builds with ease, yet you will struggle. Uh, extruder pick, a 4 gigabyte SD card, a uh, USB 2.0 cable that's shiny and blue. Look at that. Nice. It's about three feet long. An electrical cord that's kind of short. I think it's like five-ish feet long. It's the same kind that most computers use. Uh, also a 1.1 pound roll of white filament that's vacuum sealed you'll need a blade or something to uh crack that puppy open uh it's a 1.75 millimeter mm -hmm. uh, pla yeah uh build tape for the build platform uh, it's like this matte finish plasticky like stuff uh, a quick start guide a leveling sheet a filament reel axle deal to hold the filament in and finally uh, the build plate itself i guess we could say it also comes with uh huh. It appears to be cr acrylic, not glass. I don't think that's that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, some people want glass. I don't know. On the outside of the machine, you will find the front door here. Uh, it's kind of like flimsy. It feels like, yeah, whatever. It does the job. Uh, and below that's a touch screen. It's pretty easy to use, but uh, I don't know. It seems a little slow, but whatever. It's not like a fast computer or anything, I guess. On the side of the machine, there's an SD card slot, a reset button, a USB port, and a power port. I think that's what that's called. And then there's a switch. Look at that. Sweet. Okay, let's uh, let's get this thing set up. I'll show you how, how it went. A setup was fairly easy. However, it's a bit of a learning curve when it comes to getting it set up right the first time. Uh, my first suggestion is to read the manual fully. I did not. I just read like the warnings and stuff and followed along from the start and uh when it got to the steps to set the thing up i just kept going you know like step one step two step three why not right uh they need to revise their manual so the build platform itself is easy to remove that's nice but what's not nice is that the manual has this like illustration of a person like slapping down the build tape which appears to be like flimsy like a towel onto the build platform in reality, compared to the illustration, it's much stiffer than that. Uh, I followed the steps on, up, you know, on page 25 is where that was shown the first time. And I was thinking, man, this is really, there's a lot of bubbles. 
if the build platform needs to be flat, you know, for your prints up to 0.1 millimeters, I mean, this, I don't know how this is going to work, but the manual shows that, it, hey, you know, this, this way, here you do it. This is how you do it. Anyway, a few steps later, a few pages later, uh, regarding leveling the build platform, it says you can't have bubbles. WTF, Dremel. WTF. So I ended up just peeling the build tape back off, which was kind of hard to do, and then just reapplying it, you know, you can see, and like a vinyl sticker. So I started from one side and then scraped the stuff on. So there's no bubbles. Problem solved. Uh, yep, so moving on. Installing the filament was pretty easy. There's no worries there. Yeah, uh, leveling the machine was actually easier than I figured it would be, given the complaints that I have read about all of the 3D printers I've looked into buying uh, online, you know. Uh, the only snag that I came up with was both literal and figurative. You, you can see the extruder tip here. It's got a, a little bit of like filament stuck out from it uh, from when I loaded the filament. And yeah, I had to pick it off before I could successfully level the platform, but uh, not, not too big of a deal. Uh, after that, it's just as simple as pressing buttons and following pictures and twisting knobs. Uh, yeah, look at that. After all that, I tried uh, to download the Dremel 3D printer software. Uh, that the manual says, you know, go to this link, which is no longer the same link, but it went to the right place anyway. You have to register with the website and then sign in. Then the download link just appears. Yeah, so I blew about 20 minutes trying to figure that out. Uh, installing the software was easy when it comes to, like, the drivers and stuff. It, it was just automatic after I had installed the software. I'm running Windows 7. There was an issue, though, when I was updating the firmware. It was just I, I started updating it, and there was an error. So I ended up just shutting off the machine and restarting the whole like process, and it worked the second time. So I don't know what the deal was, but eh, whatever. It ended up working out. But finally, I want to end uh, this video with a few notes. So there are some preloaded builds that came with uh, my 3D printer, and I think you, you will have them as well, um, unless they revise it for some reason. They were a child's dice, a rhino head, a school bus, a T-Rex head, a toothpaste squeezer, reindeer puppet, a polar bear puppet, a Dremel test print, a diamond tie bar, a tree frog, a chess piece, it's a king, and then a hex vase. Uh, yeah, I built the child's dice for the first build, and it wasn't too impressive. So I, I was like, eh, it's, it's going way too fast. And the resolution is not impressive. It's got, like, you can see, it's got these little things poking on the side, and you can kind of like see through the bottom part anyway. Like right off the bat, I'm like, meh, ugh, what's well, $900, I guess. Anyway, moving on to the next thing I built uh, was these hooks that hold my AC adapter for my monitor underneath my desk because it gets hot. And I printed those out, and it was, it was impressive. So that will be going into more in depth in later videos. If you want to check it out, the next one, I'll have a link here at the end of the video uh, and, and also in the description. The other two videos, once again, uh, one will be a pros and cons of the Dremel Idea Builder, and the f final one will be analysis and review. So, yeah. If you like this video, there's a button for that. If you want to see more videos like it, there's a button for that. And if you're just bored and you have some time to burn, uh, go check out my channel. There's some videos there that are kind of helpful, like the screw video or the corn one. That's pretty interesting to know. Uh, but anyway, uh, see you later, Internet. I hope that helps.